Alright, so welcome back, and it's time to do Mount Moon. I'm going to actually do like an in-depth like of Mount Moon because of the fact there's a lot of stuff to get and to do here. So, uh, let's start. Alright, well, Mount Moon is the first cave. Easiest cave in the game. Come right here to get the TM for Bullet Seed. So if you have a Bulbasaur, that's pretty good too. So, although you're looking to get a Zubat, I don't know why. Well, they do have the fact of Crobat. Which are very hard to get, but they turn out very well. You know, I've never personally trained to do that. And just with the fact of Leech Life as its only move. No, you gotta catch them all, so. <laughs> I caught one before. Alright, so if you haven't liked this you'll most likely you're gonna just do that. And Geodudes, and all that. Alright, well. My thing to do is to get Pikachu to level 15 before the next gym. I will be doing a lot of stuff before the next gym just to boost up my Pokemon. Focus camera. Okay. Bug Trainer. Nothing new. Thunder Shock. Lots of trainers in here, so... Lots of... Well, most of them aren't... Oh. Dang it, Pikachu. Why'd you have to pick up poison? <sighs> okay. Well, um, after, you know, two hit, Pikachu killed it, and get a load of experience. Now, Kakuna. Kakuna's hardened may do a little difference. Should have let it evolve into Beedrill. But, like, a smart trainer. <laughs> I actually like Beedrill better than Butterfree. I don't know if I ever said that before, but I do. I had did like when I first got the game, I had a Beedrill. And it is awesome. I have it on my um, Diamond and Pearl. I just don't use it much. So like 55. But anyway. Alright, this center's trying to go down. 166 expense. Yep. Alright, so that's it for that battle. Bag. Hold on, antidotes. Make sure you do stock up on antidotes, awakenings, potions. I don't have awakenings, so I'm not going to fight the Jigglypuff and Clefairy trainers. I skipped the Jigglypuff one. Not fighting Clefairy. Come over here. Paralyze you. Alright, so. Oh, damn it. You dude. About to see, huh? Oh, uh, it didn't learn click attack yet. Ah, oh, okay. If you're starting with Pikachu in the front spot, do not battle. Just have to do that. Uh, do not battle Geodudes. Or Onyx appears here. It's pretty rare, but you know. Eh. Catch Onyx later in the game. Alright, so Pikachu is level 11. So far, it grew two levels since I've been in here. And Quick Attack is actually pretty good in the beginning of the game. It does a lot of damage at this point. So, you might want to get rid of Growl for it. Or Tail Whip, whichever one. I'll get rid of Tail Whip for, um, for something else that it's going to learn in about 11 levels. So, okay, skip that trainer, which is the Clefairy. Oh, this is also a Pokemon here. Paris. If you're looking for Parasect, if you will, if you want a Paris, or a Parasect, uh, just catch this. They're very hard to train. I do not have the patience for a Paris. I'll just catch a Parasect later in the game. But seriously, I, I don't feel that why they put Paris. In, that, in the Pokemon game, nobody ever uses it. That and Tangela. But they did give Tangela a new evolutionary stage in Diamond and Pearl Tangrowth.
But who cares about that? This is fire red. <laughs> Alright, so, um, bag. She stung spores, bastard. Um, and, you know, if your Pokemon are running faint, you know, go, you can just head out to the Pokemon Center. This one's gonna be Paris. Totally gonna avoid the whole paralyzed heal thing, so I'm gonna skip that battle. Another Paris. Well, if you're looking Paris, I think these strips are where you find them. They're pretty much common in this part. Alright, so come out here and you'll have a gander at your first Team Rocket guy. And you know what Team Rocket people use? These Thief Pokemon. Or the Pokemon that I don't really like. Like Raditz, like Sandshrew. You know, I was, Sandshrew was actually pretty beast back in the red, blue, and yellow games, but now it's. Uh, it's not exactly that awesome anymore. But nobody really used to train a Sandshrew. That's what made it so awesome, because I, I felt like I was like the only one around my neighborhood who used to train a Sandshrew. That was a while ago. Alright, come on. You know what, why am I using Metal Claw? I don't just use Ember. Alright, there we go. Uh, Pikachu. Now a red top. Throw a Pika. Alright, Pikachu. Get your butt out there. Alright, and I think it knows Super Fang, or, I don't know. Never really trained one. Oh, they always do the strategy, the Tail Whip Quick Attack. I can do that too. Now, watch a quick attack. Attack it. Oh, oh crap. Man. Wrong move. Ah, I hope it's para hat. Nope. Oh, crap. He's trying to kill him. He's trying to do that. Oh, shit. I don't play that. This is my house. I don't play that. Alright. Ah, oh, Pikachu. Ah, oh, para hacks. Alright, Pikachu, good job, and get your experience, and last is Zubat, which is fail to my Pikachu. Pikachu, Thunder Shock him. Thunder Shock him, Pikachu. Didn't kill it! Astonished. Alright, and Pikachu is now level 12. Grew three levels since I've been in here, and it's only the first half of this. Not the first half, I still have a lot more left in here. I'm actually just doing this. Alright, before they changed it, there used to be a rock here. Like an Everstone or something in there, but now it's Star Piece. And I'm use my last potion on Pikachu. Alright, and, uh, Geodude, no, Zubat, level 11, I'm guessing this is pretty much a good spot to train a Pikachu, the Zubat room right here, ah, oh, Supersonic, why, why, Ah, that's what you get, sucker. Oh, come on, Pikachu. Are you that dumb? Pikachu's gonna die. What did I say? Pikachu dies. And I'll just go back out and heal in between videos. Yeah, so... Uh, okay... Um, God, damn it. I mean, let's buy some repels too. This is annoying. All right, well, um, I have to go out and heal my Pikachu. So until next time.
You know what? Don't even need to save progress. Next time.